So here it is, the outside in its original patina as everybody's now calling it because the longer I wait to redo the paint job the more everybody's like oh why don't you leave it the way it is so I'm gonna ask everybody in the community you guys you guys are keeping an eye on this should I fix it up and make it all shiny and new on the outside or should we make it look like a rocket that just came back through the atmosphere you tell me I can't not show off the front a little bit right she's looking good we're plugged in just hanging out 1995 Prevo so we're gonna go through the startup procedure of this old beast wait until you see the stairs and the floor that's getting done seat mounts are in things are coming together so this thing is a cold cockpit right now. Besides the lighting, I came in and turned the lighting on. You can see I still got tools and stuff out. But we're going to pretend it is a off machine, right? Lights on, I only need that for up there. Med bay is coming together. The med bay monitor is in, so we'll be able to display crew data. Um, there's a a ladder and the airlock to the emergency hatch above and then of course you know got to have a little bit of the luxurious mirrors and all that fancy stuff still and here we are in the main cabin well no this would be the cockpit sorry as you can see there's some stuff dangling up there wait until you see the next video for that update but I am putting a star ceiling in. Also, I have some prototype pieces up here that I'm doing some measurements and working on the final details, all the trim. You guys don't get a chance to actually see this uh, that often. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to hit the main power switch, which is going to turn on all our banks. We have the, the main power, the ground indicates that we're good, that we're grounded, and uh, the computer's on, monitor's on, and the printer, you guys know what a 3D printer is, and then, uh, you know, that's in the cabin, but not installed yet, technically. There's our computer. So, I've left that powered on a separate power bank, which actually, I'll have a battery, uh, a battery supply like its own power unit that'll be right here in this area that'll actually power the computer and all the components involving the main captain station which will keep that isolated uh, so you see I fired it up by just powering up the main button um, so here's what I'm rocking with got the verbal uh, rudder pedals mouse and keyboards down below there's a mirror that from sitting from the pilot seat, <clears throat> you can actually see the hatch above you and down the hallway behind you if the doors open. That way, yeah, check out those mirrors. Those things are serious. They look like telescope mirrors. Anyway, minor details in this ship. So, computer's on. I have to climb up here and... Yes, I. Oh, I'm screwing it up. <sighs> Hopefully that worked. So anyway, then I that fires up the computer. Then I have these LED lights back here that fire up a program and it activates those to react with the room environment. Emergency stash. Is that ready? We ready? Now, I mean, I guess I'm just single crew today, but if if I was a two-man or three-man crew, <laughs> I'll be honest, even when I solo fly, I always fire up the secondary PCs that operate the secondary stations. Now, these stations are kind of movable, so you can either operate them from this seat here, or... 
I can swivel it over to operate it from the captain's seat. So, and that same with this one. So I guess if I'm going to go out this way, that's the configuration of the cockpit today. And double tech flight controls look good. It means my USB banks are working. The computer looks stable. I'll start firing up the software and get the other two computers going. And I'll probably have to play some Star Citizen. But just wanted to show you a quick startup procedure of how simple it can be to start up one of these spaceships, or aka our starship. Until next time.